Hi, I'm Rachel Mullins, and I'm doing a video blog on my experience at the American Music Awards. So lots of blogs up about people's reviews about the American Music Awards, but they weren't there. I was there. Second row, actually. Good old Dick Clark Productions. Nice pass. Second row, center stage. They actually split the stage at Nokia, so it's when one stage is being performed on, another stage is being set up for the next performance. Or presentation, or whatever it is that they're doing with it. Um, when I first sat down, I got in late. I didn't get to see Rihanna's performance, which kind of sucked, but that's okay. I've seen Rihanna perform before. Um, Kesha and her parents were behind me. She's a super cool mom. She's very supportive. And then Taylor Swift and her parents were in front of me. And then down the way was Diddy and all of his people. Anyway, um, the way seating works for major award shows is that the first five to ten rows are just kind of security checkpoint. There's not really assigned seats. So if you have a pass, like mine, or a talent pass, or something to that effect, once you get past the security, you can sit wherever you want because the people that are performing, people that are helping with production, the people that are helping with, you know, different talent, people's parents, they're always up and moving everywhere because people have to get up and perform or present or get an award or whatever it is that they're doing. So you just kind of sit wherever and you can get up and move, but only during commercials. If you get up during their taping, they'll shoot you probably. Performances at award shows, which is great. It's the only reason to go, really, if unless you're, you know, winning an award. Um, American Music Awards are essentially given because of radio play and sales. Whoever who the highest sales or the highest top 40 airplay, that's who wins, or wins three times in Justin Bieber's case, which was kind of crap, but if he does those kind of sales, then that's what he gets. Um, my favorite performance by far was Christina Aguilera's performance because it was all sparkly and fun. And I like sparkly and fun. Who else's performance was great? Um, I really liked Pink's, too. It was huge. It was amazing that she was, you know, doing all that jumping around and she's pregnant. It's craziness. Although, MIA performed on her due date at the Grammys two years ago, which was insane. I don't think anybody else has ever performed on their due date. Who else? Um... Performances get kind of messy. Uh, the smoke from Katy Perry Firework, they had to bring in fans during the commercial. It was insane. Like, it was like a, it was like a contact high from Snoop Dogg. It was nuts. There's so much smoke from all of her fireworks, but that's part of her shtick. Um, Kesha and her confetti was insane. They could not dump enough buckets of confetti into their little spraying machine. It was everywhere. It was my hair. It was in my eyes. It was in my dress. It was everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And then they, during someone's performance, they dropped a huge, um, like, nets and nets of balloons over the audience, and they never went away. There was people running around, popping them and trying to get them, but they just kept springing up from everywhere. It was cool. That was probably one of my favorite parts of the evening, because we got balloons. I wish they were American Music Awards balloons, though, but they are just plain, low-budget. Um, who else is... There was more dancers than I have ever seen in an award show before, like infinite amount of backup dancers. Neos were the best by far. I mean, those girls were, have been, probably been dancing since they were two. They're very, very trained and really fantastic. Um, during Taylor's performance of December, there was all this, her snow was foam, and the foam got everywhere. It was all over my eyelashes and I couldn't see, but it looked cute though. I'm sure it looked great on TV, so it was definitely worth the, worth foaming the crowd. Although, the strange thing about the performance though, the the, the shtick of the evening seemed to be that the performer comes down from the ceiling and then, you know, then their band starts and that's, you know, the gist of it, which would be, you know, cool if, you know, all but three people didn't do it. Who else had a nice performance? Um, Miley Cyrus's was really cute. I mean, it was pretty understated, but it was nice. It was really pretty. Her dress was great, and I think it was a, a reaction to the full, you know, long sleeve up to the neck dress for forgiveness and love. I think it was a kind of a rebuttal to her, you know, too sexy image right now. But it was really great. I mean, I think she's she's one of my favorite people to see perform. She's really the show presenters, all the people that worked on No Ordinary Family or all the shows on ABC as it was an ABC production were presenters, which was pretty cool because a lot of those shows are new. ABC Family has a very new new lineup, which is great. Hopefully their ratings will come up, but I had a good time. I'd, um, the after party was at Conga Room. I didn't go. 
I went to the studio afterwards. But it was a good time. I mean, if you can ever find yourself in an award show, it's uh, it's definitely an experience. And the American Music Awards are, are kind of nuts. They run a very tight ship over there. But I definitely recommend it. So any questions, just email me. See you later.